Actually, we're not going to launch, uh, not launch, we're going to announce two models today, O3 and O3 Mini. O3 is a very, very smart model. Uh, O3 Mini is an incredibly smart model, but still, uh, but a really good at performance and cost. OpenAI just wrapped up its big ShipMess event by revealing its newest AI model, O3. This is the next version after O1, and it comes in two types, the regular O3 and a smaller version called O3 Mini, designed for specific tasks. What makes O3 different is how it works. Instead of rushing through answers like most AI, it takes its time using a private chain of thought to double-check itself. This makes it slower but way more accurate, especially in tricky areas like math, programming, and physics. To give users more control, OpenAI added a new feature that lets you adjust how much time it spends on reasoning. The results are seriously impressive. High performance, high cost. In high compute mode, O3 has crushed benchmarks, setting records on things like S-Bench 2727 and achieving an 87.5% score on Arc AGI. But all this power comes with a downside. It's expensive to run and still has some issues, like concerns about past models occasionally being deceptive. Here's the thing. OpenAI hinted that O3 might be getting close to Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. AGI is the kind of AI that could outperform humans in most important tasks. If that happens, it could change OpenAI's partnership with Microsoft in a big way. Internal tests show O3 dominating tough exams, like scoring 96.7% on the 2024 American Invitational Mathematics exam and setting new records in math benchmarks. But these results haven't been confirmed by outside sources yet. To keep things safe, OpenAI has come up with new techniques to prevent risks. But some safety concerns still linger, especially because older models sometimes behaved in ways that weren't fully trustworthy. The release of O3 comes at a time when big players like Google, Alibaba, and DeepMind are rolling out their own advanced AI models. With traditional AI methods starting to hit their limits, these new reasoning models are looking like the future of AI. Even though O3 costs a lot to run, OpenAI has big plans. They're starting with previews of O3 Mini in January, and the full version will roll out after that. This announcement comes at an interesting time too. Alec Radford, the person behind OpenAI's famous GPT models, is leaving the company. It's a big change as OpenAI keeps pushing the limits of what AI can do. 12 Days of OpenAI The 12 Days of OpenAI event has been like a tech festival with new stuff revealed every day. On day one, they showed off the UN model and announced a $200 ChatGPT Pro plan. The focus was all about making AI smarter. Then they revealed Sora, a tool that makes videos using AI. It's a clear sign that OpenAI isn't just focused on problem solving, but also wants to explore creative projects with AI. Sora is pretty cool, but has its limits, unless you go for the pro version. Alongside Sora, OpenAI introduced some handy features like projects, which helps organize ChatGPT chats into tasks you can actually use. Hi chat, I'm Jackie and I'm the product lead for ChatGPT Multimodal. Hi Jackie, it's great to meet you too. Sounds like you're all working on some really cool projects. And an advanced voice mode that lets the AI see and interact with what's on your screen. One of the most surprising updates, though, was about accessibility. OpenAI managed to make ChatGPT available in places no one expected, like landlines. Yep, you can now call a number and get AI help even without the internet. It's not fancy, but it's super practical, especially for people without smartphones or fast internet. And there's this really colorful house with domes that we're curious if you can help us figure out what it is. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Those sound like the famous Flintstone house in Hillsboro near San Francisco. The landline feature lets you talk to the AI for up to 15 minutes for free in the US. And after that, normal phone charges apply. Bringing ChatGPT on WhatsApp. Another big step was integrating ChatGPT with WhatsApp. Now, you can chat with the AI directly on one of the most popular messaging apps. For now, there's a daily usage limit, but future updates might bring exciting features like image analysis or live web searches. It's clear they're trying to make AI more inclusive for everyone. Kevin Weil, OpenAI's chief product officer, made it clear during a live stream that OpenAI's goal is to make AI useful for everyone, 
not just people with the latest gadgets or high-end tech. You can also globally message ChatGPT on WhatsApp. And I just wanted to give a shout out to the team. This came out of a Hack Week project. Uh, team built this just a few weeks ago and we loved it. And uh, they hustled really hard to ship it. But let's not forget, Google isn't just sitting on the sidelines watching OpenAI steal the show. They recently rolled out Gemini 2.0, a reasoning model that combines their flash technology with advanced thinking. One of Gemini's coolest features is its transparency. It shows its thought process step by step. This isn't just for show. It's super helpful for anyone needing to understand how the AI reached its conclusions, especially for tricky tasks with long reasoning steps. Gemini 2.0 is already available for free on Google AI Studio, though there's a token limit of 32,767. That's not unlimited, but it's more than enough for most everyday uses. Early performance tests are pretty impressive. It can handle tricky problems like riddles and probability questions in just seconds. Of course, it's not perfect. During public demos, it made a few mistakes and missed details here and there, but that's expected for something so new. It's now the top contender on the El Marina chatbot arena, where it beat out older models in no time. Customizable safety settings. What really makes Gemini 2.0 stand out is its customizable safety settings. Users can tweak these settings to control how the model deals with sensitive topics, like harassment, explicit material, or potentially harmful responses. This extra layer of control is especially handy for developers and industries that need to stick to strict compliance rules. Meanwhile, OpenAI has been busy improving how ChatGPT fits into everyday workflows. The latest updates bring ChatGPT to macOS apps like Warp, IntelliJ IDEA, PyCharm, and even popular note-taking tools like Notion and Apple Notes. These integrations are designed to make life easier by automating everyday tasks, whether it's coding, organizing notes, or more. Kevin Weil explained this shift by saying ChatGPT is becoming more agentic. In simpler terms, it's evolving from just answering your questions to actually getting things done for you. OpenAI and Apple's big partnership. The collaboration with Apple, announced earlier this year, is a big deal for OpenAI. With ChatGPT now integrated into iOS, macOS, and iPadOS, it's expected to attract tons of new users. OpenAI is even predicting that this partnership, along with their new data centers and products, could help them reach a whopping 1 billion users within the next year. Considering how popular Apple devices are, this goal doesn't seem too far off. But there's more going on here. OpenAI and Google are clearly locked in a race to outshine each other. OpenAI is focusing on building thoughtful, deliberate models, while Google is all about speed and efficiency. Each approach has its own strengths, and it's exciting to see how these two giants are shaping the future of AI in very different ways. Now that OpenAI's event has wrapped up, the introduction of the GPT-4 Turbo model, also called O3, has really raised the bar. It comes with smarter reasoning, better multimodal abilities, and some cool new tools. Altogether, it's a big step forward and a strong statement in the ongoing AI competition. One thing's for sure, the world of AI is moving at lightning speed. Tools that felt like they belonged in a sci-fi movie are now just a normal part of daily life. Whether it's through landlines, desktop apps, or messaging platforms, the rivalry between OpenAI and Google is driving innovation faster than ever. And honestly, we're the ones winning from all this competition. The GPT-4 Turbo O3 model could be the next big leap forward, making AI not just smarter, but also easier to use and more a part of our lives. And if the past few announcements are anything to go by, OpenAI probably has even more exciting things coming. Meanwhile, Google's Gemini 2.0 has already raised the bar, proving that this race is far from over. The future of AI? Definitely not boring. Both OpenAI and Google are going all in, and it's going to be incredible to see what they come up with next.